Hi and welcome to this video blog with me, Wayne, from SwimmingCyclingRunning.com. This blog is about the mental processes and one or two other things that can help you make each race a success. I was at a British Triathlon conference recently in a seminar and one of the coaches said, well, you know, whenever I race, I know I'm going to have a bad run because I just can't run well. An interesting thing to say. And then later in the same seminar this coach said well actually I also know I'm going to have a pretty bad bike because I'm not that good a biker either. And that again made me think right that's a very very interesting thing to say. Now, I quite like motivational sayings um, not the crass ones oh, just one more for the giver that type of thing. But ones that actually get you thinking, and the one I like probably most in all the world is attributed to Henry Ford, who said, whether you think you can or think you can't, you're right. Well, I like to adjust that slightly and say, whether you think you can or think you can't, you're probably right. Because if you actually believe that you can do something, you're going to set in motion all the things necessary to prove yourself right and try and succeed. If you actually believe you can't do something, you're again going to set into motion all those things, but you're going to make sure you actually don't quite succeed. You're never believing that what you're doing is enough to get you through what you need to get through. And so that coach, and I really don't know what level he was, was setting himself up, in my mind, to have a complete failure. But in that failure, he will have been successful because he thinks he can't. I can't run and I can't cycle, therefore I'm going to have a bad race. And he's going to win. He's going to win in his own success of failure. So whether you think you can or think you can't is probably right, actually hits home virtually every single time. There's very few people who think they can't that actually do. Even if you have to train yourself to think you can, and slowly but surely prove to yourself that you can, you should, by the time you get to race day, know that, hang on a second, I think I can do this. So I would suggest that the first element of a successful race day is actually the parameters you've actually set out for success and failure. The parameters you've set out for can or can't. So you've got to believe when you go on that start line that you can. And the only way you can do that is to set your success as an achievable level, however hard that might be. From that point we can go into specific details that can happen on race day. You'll often find that people are not doing on race day what they know they should be doing before a race. Now your mental strength as an athlete should teach you that you have to do the right things even if other people aren't doing the right things and you know it. Even if you have lots of friends at a race, doing the wrong things, you have to do the right things. So, what might the right things be to do to guarantee yourself a good and successful race? Well, the most important thing is your race warm-up. I see a lot of people in an open water swim not bothering to go in for a swim early enough to actually get a good warm-up. That is always a mistake. If you can't get in the water to do a warm-up, you need to be doing a warm-up on land and you need to do about 800 metres of running to compensate for what you're do not doing in the water. You need to be ready to race. Your body and your mind needs to be ready to race. In an open water swim, especially if you're wearing a wetsuit, that out-of-breath feeling is going to hit at around two to 400 metres. Why not make that two to 400 metres within your warm-up? It makes sense. You know it makes sense. So do it. Think, what is the worst thing that could happen to you on race day? Now I really mean it. Think, what is the worst thing that could happen to you on race day? Because one of the most important things for a successful race is to pre-think those things that could go wrong. Some of those things might mean you pull out of the race. I mean, what happens if your goggles come off? Are you going to pull out of the race or are you going to continue? 
How will you continue? Will you continue heads up? Will you continue in the water? Will you open your eyes or will you close your eyes in the water and open them outside? All of those things are planable beforehand. What happens if you have a puncture? Are you going to take a repair kit with you? Are you going to take a new tub with you that you can whip off and on very quickly? What are you going to do? A lot of that, a lot of the, the, the response to that will depend on your ambitions for the race. For example, if you know you can whip off a tub and put another one on in a few seconds or change a tyre in a few seconds if you're lucky, then you may say, okay, my race is fine. If your aim is just to complete a race, then undoing the tyre, taking it off, uh, finding a puncture, putting a repair patch on, putting the tyre, uh, the inner tube back in, and then pumping it up again, doesn't matter, because you can still finish the race. These what-ifs, what if something goes wrong, is very important, because when you actually hit a what-if in a race, an actual something that does go wrong, you then have a plan for it, and you don't get flustered, and you don't get worried. You just flow through, and your race is again successful. Alright, so those were just three things that I think are really important to generate success on race day. The first one, make sure you've come to the line doing everything you possibly can to believe that, yes, I can do this. Whatever your target is, your target might be doing a particular time or just completing the race. Yes, I can do that because I know I've trained for it. Secondly, don't be a sheep. Don't follow what other people do when you know you should be doing something else. Do a race warm-up. If you can get in the water, great. If you can't get in the water, do one outside. Yeah. You should anyway be practicing your transition and running through. Yeah. So do a warm-up. And thirdly, consider those what-ifs. Those what-if moments in a race. What if this happens? What if that? What if my goggles come, comes off, etc.? And if you've thought about that beforehand, likely as not you're going to sail through any problem that occurs in the race. Because nothing necessarily runs exactly as you want it to. What happens is something goes wrong. Do those three things and you're almost guaranteed success in your racing. As we approach race season, we will come back to racing and what's important in particular areas of the race. But mentally, you've got to be well prepared. And if you follow those three little bits of advice, hopefully you'll be prepared a little bit more than you were. Hopefully you've enjoyed this blog, and I'll see you again shortly.